Yes. So now the idea and the vision, what we're going to do is clear or more clearer than it yeah. was before. It just so, needs a bit of a pay attention to the food making, the menu and the story. Yeah, so in here, in E, it basically puts all these main tasks together. So number E is like the last letter because the G takes to the next part. So the number E is last letter of the first uh, no, the, uh, this part, part one, and it puts together the whole thing. The view is again the social media. In this case, the social media media means the blog you have created. And the idea is that you use the skills of social media by adding documentations which you created uh, to your portfolio or the blog. And things are like it was mentioned, uh, the meet the local producer and make documentation about the video, about the visit. It's video or slideshow with photos and story or something similar. And now because we all know that we can't meet anybody, so we have to use a uh, World Wide Web to get the information. It could be also, why not, books and pictures if you have some uh, if you find some uh, articles from the papers, newspapers, why not using that? It, it's it's up to you. But somehow present what's local in your neighborhood or in your area. Then we create the basic recipe cards for the three course menu. And now, because we are combining the cooking competition and pop-up event, those courses are going to be pop-up dishes. So three course pop-up dish menu. Using the given model, so the same uh, base for everybody when you do your recipe cards. And, and in this then point, the sorry, finished sorry. menu card for the guests. Yeah. Yeah, in this point, remember that the things are uh, meat, it's fish, and vegetables. And something sweet. And some sweets. But you can take the meat independently from the area, what it is, the fish from the area, some sweets, and some good ingredients from the area. So you're just creating four different dishes, fish, meat, vegetable, and dessert. You make the recipes out of those with the story and with an idea of menu, and that's it. Yes, keeping in mind the basic principles. So here's also like uh, some pictures that the food is done by Sami and his students. And also like the feeling uh, about the story when food looks different. It's just not normal food on the plate. So there could be one idea for the pop-up dishes. That is quite, uh, let's say, hygienic way at least to eat it, a pop-up dish looking really special. Uh, yeah, so balance, variety, contrast, meaning different colors, different textures, and looking good for the eye. That's I, I, That it looks good, it, it's a huge part of the experience. We have the taste, we have the looks, we have the uh, 
smells or the yeah what do we call it nicely in english and then also the atmosphere general appearance so not too much same type of foods in a menu different combination of shapes and sizes okay now we have pop-up dish we can't have that much variation in one dish but now uh we have three dishes so then we have the uh different combination of shapes in uh, or between the dishes at least And then we have to think about the flavors now. So if we have the strongest flavors first, then the next disease maybe doesn't taste that much. So we have to also think about the order where we eat it. So something can taste better after something else. So the idea of the first dish is to open the mouth and uh, let's say, uh, prepare us for the main course. And then the dessert should close the whole thing. And then certain colors looks good together and certain colors doesn't look that nice together. So we also have to think how it looks. But of course, nowadays, uh, the testing of the menus is something would be more challenging if you don't have any uh, lessons at school before the actual event. But those challenges we have to handle when we know better. Uh, if something is blue, you can originally you can try try to make it even more blue with something else, for example. And of course, in our case now we need to think about it, the price. Yes, these, uh, these costs, because if you're using a lot of ingredients that are really expensive, we are still only asking just a few euros each. So have to consider that one also. Can you, Herman, find out the principles of that quickly that? Uh, yeah, just looking for it for the pop up event. Yes, so we can check it out one more time about the meat that you take, about the fish that you will take and the vegetables you take. Um, what kind of things we can invent from that one. So here we can have the, the whole thing. We create. Yeah, you have also the actual date when this whole event is going to take place. So it's three days event. Uh, and we have just over a month until that day or those days yes so sami you can yes so after all this uh, researching and thinking and picking up the the ingredients the outlines of this is to create three different street food dishes from one from meat one from any seafood and one uh, that it's sweet. Then one plant-based diet. As Hermani says, no finger food. So we need to find out some kind of a thing and way to, to dispose the dishes. All dishes needs to be eaten with the fork or spoon. It can be in a small jars or box or something if you want to invent something like that 
and the portion price is around two to three euros each. The amount of all portions needs to be around 20, 40. For yeah, each. So, yeah, so now the amount of course depends. If in some case we can go to a mall and start to sell it and the goal is to sell 100, then we need 100. But if we have to be, for example, only among with six, six people, then less is of course enough if you have to be in close quarters. Uh, yeah, and then this portion price, so the whole menu can cost from six to nine euros. They're including one meat, one seafood, one plant-based and one sweet for each person or each customer. And again, uh, we need portion cards to the chefs. And we need the uh, cards for the guests, so where we present our food for the customers. Menu with the, with the implemented story. Yes, all the story wraps everything together and also uh, you can plan a logo for your uh, pop-up event or you can think that we have this pop-up restaurant logo for that. There's a lot of different uh, logo planning, let's say machines in the internet. And then it's presented in social media, meaning it's present you everybody presents it in the blog. And now everybody should even though you do these things together, everybody should present all the aspects. So the blog is individual. Uh, yes. And th those are the tasks after the lessons. It's not much, but there is a lot of things to think about it and creating yeah. before we can start wrapping all these together. So yes. We need to have the line for the story. We need to have some kind of an, an idea about the, the ingredients. We need to have some kind of a vision how we are going to present it. And afterwards, we can start wrapping it all together. Yes. So now when we are creating a sustainable, profitable and innovative uh, street food pop up event or the uh, menu for it, uh, sustainability aspects, uh, you will learn them later. But now the locality is one of the sustainability aspects like we and Sami was mentioning already. Uh, using local product, it also supports the local economy. And that's also the sustainability. It's not just an environmental thing. It's also a social aspect. Uh, so supporting the local is a sustainable. So less, less traffic, less transportation, but also uh, uh, the economic values for the local community are one of the sustainability aspects. And then profitable, we are selling it two to three euros, so we can't use five euros into the uh, ingredients. And then innovative, I think when we combine all of these and the story, it starts to be automatically innovative. You, I, I wouldn't try to invent something that no one has never, ever, ever even dreamed of. So I think it, it, that might go if you have some that kind of that some idea which is like that. Why not? But like still, uh, it doesn't have to be like, you know. Something that we but no one has ever seen before. But when we combine these things professionally, it will be innovative for sure. And yeah, so and also the one thing, so don't uh, you shouldn't like 
not today, not after this lesson to close your, okay, we are going to use this, this, and this product, and we are going to make like this, and then we are ready. We have more lessons to come. We have lessons about the sustainability. We have a lesson about plant-based cooking, and we have lesson about the cooking methods. So from all of those lessons, try to implement some ideas into your menu. So close the menu after all the lessons. You so we have the locality, we have the sustainability, we have the plant-based uh, aspects, and we have the cooking methods. So okay. traditional cooking methods. So those all aspects also should be inside the menu. So if you close it today, it could be challenging. So you can create it all the time on the background. You can keep it in mind, but don't wrap it up yet. You need all these aspects to, to have the final version of it. Okay. So all about all of these, does it feel like overwhelming at this point? Those who are part of the project. A little bit, but I think we can manage. Yeah, OK, and then uh, I think many of the aspects, again, uh, we can get in there uh, you know, relatively easily after all. It doesn't, yeah. So, yeah. But we can evaluate that, of course, better when we are uh, when we are ready. But yeah. And, and as we said, this platform is open 24 hours a day. So every time when you feel that you don't understand, you can go to uh, to the website. You find there the module and open this 365 environment and have more information and more guidelines to it. Yes, and then we have also the Facebook platform where you can ask. That's a place for the a good place for the questions. So somebody asks, everybody can see it. In there we can share different content and, and so on. So that's a good place for the questions. Uh, again, open 24-7. There's a lot of information now, but if you process it for a while, take this one up, up again tomorrow, I think the vision and the idea, it's more clear. When it comes like this inside of few hours, it seems overwhelming, but if you process it a bit, check it again, I think in some point it opens you easily. Yeah. So you can easily join the competition when you have three dishes and something in the, some, uh, some stuff in the block. And yeah. Again, more and more time we put into these different uh, cards. For example, the menu cards, portion cards, taking pictures, stuff like that. Uh, it's all like extra. It's like adding on. So we know, I think we all know how to run around the track now. Then just how fast we are going to do it and, and like how many times. Then it's, it's like up to you. Also, how much you have time. These are challenging situation, but when the pop-up event happens and then it's filmed also, so you have the date. So try to make sure that we are that you are able to cook something, serve it for somebody, and film it while you do it, because then. After you happy, everybody has cooked. So then we watch the others' films, and we watch the check the others other participants' blogs, and then we give feedback. And through that feedback, 
we learn. That's the key moment of this. First we do, we learn, and then when we talk about, evaluate each other, we get feedback, we give feedback, then we learn even more. Okay, do we have questions now about the issue? Everything is kind of a clear. Getting more clearer on the way. Okay. Maybe the, uh, the Estonian students uh, want to talk about uh, the project uh, after the meeting, so everything's more clearer. Okay. George, did you have something? Uh, Chef, I said, uh, I think I, I got some of the ideas now, so I'll just also go through with it later on so I can have a full grasp of, of, the, of the lessons yes. today. Good, good, yeah. So these are the situations, so when we actually start to do stuff, then we most often start to have the questions. So, and that's completely fine. Uh, you can always ask about different things, for example, in the Facebook. The Vamia students, of course, have different channels also to ask, because you know us, me and Sami. But then again, if you have some questions, uh, the Facebook is the platform. It's good platform for all the questions because uh, you might have then later on questions about the uh, plant-based cooking. And then it's the Estonian people who can uh, answer to those questions in Facebook. And also when it's posted in Facebook, everybody can see the same uh, the question and the answer. So overall support from there also. Uh, like Hermani mentioned before in some point, that the, the minimum requirements to get through this one is to make the menu, to make the recipes and invent all these things that you're going to serve people to eat. And present the ideas in the blog. Yes. And then comes more efforts if you want to grow up the idea. And now it comes the blocks on top of that from uh, another participants, and you are growing the idea inside of it. But let's start now with that with that one. Create the ideas. Think about the what you're gonna do as food. Think about the story, and then processing through that one. I think it's important to have some kind of an idea about the food and the ingredients in this point, so it's easier to understand and think forward through the ingredients after. OK, any more questions? If there is not more questions, we don't have so much things to add anymore about this one. Yes, I think there's been at least enough. Yes, so it was a pleasant time to work with you. This amount of time that we had together. And as we said, ask more questions in Facebook platform, easier to understand, easy to to reply. And uh, we hope you get a good run with the systems and good start with the menu. No further questions, no more things to add. Thank you for all the participants. Thank you for recording, guys. Thank you for everything, and we'll see you later on. Thank you for the project and European Union and Sami Svivaya. Thank you very much. I have Thank you very a much, really excited what will happen. Thank you for today. Thank you. Very Thank much. you.